it's that time of year and we're thinking about getting ready for that cold weather. And so are all the rats and mice. And they want to come in and be nice and warm in your home. But you don't want that, so you have to keep them out. And the best way to do that is exclusion. Because once they get in, yeah, we can tell you how to trap them. But it's best not to let them in. Then you don't have to worry about going through all that trapping bother or figuring out what they're doing. So you need to go around your house now and look for any holes or any spaces you can find that are bigger than a nickel. Any slot or any hole that's bigger than a nickel, you need to patch up, okay? So the first thing you need to do is go around the foundation and look around windows all the way up to the first floor because they can climb on the side of the house and cover up anything that is about a nickel. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna stuff steel wool and copper wool into all those openings that are bigger than a nickel all the way around the house. Now up underneath the siding, this goes right up, up underneath there in the corners, okay, to stop them from coming up underneath that siding. Also along the siding, you can use any type of caulk or stuff it. Remember, don't use the caulk and stuff it alone. Mix it with your copper and steel wool. Now, They'll also try to come in where your dryer vents are. To protect the dryer vent, you could put one of these down to stop them from coming up underneath their dryer vent, especially rats and squirrels and snakes. You always have to worry about, especially if you're older part of town or downtown, rats especially coming up through the sewer. And these devices are great to be put into the stool that's, so the, everything can go out, but the rat can't come back in. Other things you may want to think about around the house is where you have pipes coming in and you want to make sure those are wrapped and you can get those, the wrapped type of steel wool that go into the bigger holes, okay? And that would definitely get it. So the whole thing is to going around and making sure there's nothing bigger than a nickel that these rats or mice can come in because they can squeeze and come right in those. And if they're digging around the outside of the building, again, you want to use these mats and put it under the dirt. If you think they're digging down to get into a crawl space or foundation, this can go under the dirt or, or uh, gravel around the house. Now, if you have a garage door, that's difficult because the garage door is opening. You need to get, because they can chew through the rubber part of the garage door, right? So you need to get metal and put it on that rubber part of the garage door, both the bottom and the sides. This also works for patio doors, because this rubber that stops the wind from coming out is great for wind, but rats and mice can chew that rubber. So you need to put the metal on that to stop them from chewing in and coming around. So, biggest thing is to go around, patch everything up, and stop them. Then you don't have to worry about catching them.